uh, tutorial guide to get FS host server running on a dedicated server box. We'll be using my dedicated server box with this demonstration. I've already got FS host already completely set up, but I'll show you the uh, the steps on how you're supposed to do it. So, first things first, download FS host zip file, drop it onto a drop it onto a, a, a hard drive on your server in a folder open it up and the first thing we'll do is not have it running right away it tries it'll run right away okay normally you wouldn't have it run away but the, you go uh, server options put your information on here have if you want 2002 2004 and FS to connect this you have to remember so make a note of that two three four five six and then go through here don't you don't need to change any of this I wouldn't change any of this either I I click minimize program to system tray for when it auto starts it doesn't pop up and then remote access you have to remember this 8383 this is important and masters list you register it don't change this add your server name and add your IP um, leave blank for auto detection in my case I'm using something called no IP dot uh, or no IP uh, dot com or no IP dot org so it doesn't change my uh, dynamic IP address every 30 days it my IP address does change but I'm using their uh, DNS to port back to my server anytime. So once you got all that set up, so if you're having troubles with your IP address, you may have to fiddle with this. Once you have this all set up, go to start fire. Watch it lag like ass. Firewall. And under your firewall settings, you need to, when it loads, when it loads, <laughs> there it goes. My server is a bit slow, how can you tell? Um, go inbound rules. Make sure you have FS8383 TCP opened. FS host the program. Have all ports open. Although you really only need to do two, three, four, five, six, but I did them all. So have those in and in. So this one is the FSX host 32. I just used all all ports for it, and then uh, open up another rule and just select TCP 8383, and then outbound rule, same thing, FS. Uh, FSO 32 for outbound, make sure it's open, and then 8383 on the TCP, make sure that's open. Once you got that set up, you will have to go into your router, which I'll do right here. Swing it over. Go into your router, go advanced, or whatever your router may be, and add port forwarding. Add FS host 23456, 23456. I don't know if you need to use the UDP, but I do it anyways. And then FS host 8383, TCP and UDP, and have them both checked. And once you got that going, you hit the start button. And if everything works right, it will say registered with master server. 
requested with master server uh, registered I meant you'll load the airports and to test this you open up FS client which I got opened right here no, uh, not FS client this is FS spy I got open and um, some routers have a problem with something called a U-turn connection so if you refresh your list here your server don't be alarmed if your server doesn't show up here you can get maybe a friend from outside the world to test this but uh, if your server doesn't show up in the um, master list on your on a machine that you're accessing from the same router that the server's being hosted on there's a very good chance that you can't do a U-turn connection so it doesn't show up on your list so if you want to test your connection you don't even have to have the game loaded to do this open up FS host and there's two ways to test this I'm going to use my my noip.org address go search for IP and there it is I can connect to it so I'm here see it told me it connected to 192.16 that's because I'm connecting inside my same router but I connected using my external IP uh, DNS address and you can see I'm on here as well another way to test this is to disconnect from system server connect to server and use your actual external IP address which this is my external one for the router which then gets port forward to the server you can search for IP address on this too it sees it go connect again as you see once again it connected to my internal address which my server is on and as you can see I'm connected again so you know you got your server your host your uh, FSO is connected properly within the same uh, network is if you can connect using your external address your router address with port forwarding as we showed or if you have something like noip.org and you have a actual DNS name or address you use yourself so you don't always have to know what your external port is so that's how you set up FS host you don't actually have to have the actual game running to test your server to connect to it I hope that if you guys have any other questions that may not have been covered or if you're running into an area and you can't figure it out why just hit me up 